fashion lovers, welcome to the closet of your dreams. There are more than 4,000 dresses here, all designer and all with a price tag to match. But they aren't for sale per se, they're for hire. So this dress, for example, how much does that retail for versus what you rent it out for? So this little piece is $450 uh, retail and $89 to rent. And what about this one? The retail is $250, uh, it's only $49 to uh, rent. Audrey and Dean are the couple behind Sydney's startup Glam Corner. Launched in 2012, the business aims to make fashion not only more accessible, but more sustainable too. The average Australian woman only wears about a third of what's in her wardrobe. The other two thirds is this stockpile of once only items that she, she purchased for a one-off event and then never wore it again. In the early days, how difficult was it to convince customers to rent rather than buy? Glamcorn was being founded right around the time the sharing economy was coming into our lives in lots of various ways. So I think timing was a really important element there that from day one, we found a lot of customers very receptive to the idea of renting clothing. Glam Corner's dresses generally have a lifespan of 20 to 30 rentals, after which they're sold off. In between each wear, they're cleaned, checked for damage, fixed by the on-site tailor if necessary, and then released back into circulation. Meanwhile, a steady stream of new designs are photographed and listed online. It's as much a logistics business as it is a fashion one. When we first started, we didn't realize that how complicated, you know, this business is going to be. Unlike regular e-commerce where you sort of send items out once, our items are constantly coming back and being booked out many times back to back. We had to build a really powerful search engine into our platform to be able to know in advance how much time to build in in terms of booking availability and non-availability for each item that's driven by geography. In the past 12 months, Glam Corner customers have rented the equivalent of $20 million worth of clothes. The business now ships thousands of dresses each month. So these trucks are coming in several times a day now. Australia Post are pretty much the only carrier that have that kind of footprint where we can deliver as reliably to someone in the outback as we can to someone in Bondi. With their logistics systems all in place, Glam Corner is aiming to scale up even further. They've raised $5.5 million to date from firms including Marshall Investments. That's the company behind traditional retailers like Saba and Sportscraft. They're a really good example of someone in the industry who's really interested in how are women showing a preference for how they want to consume fashion and apparel in the future. So how do you decide which dresses to buy, how many to buy of each size? So we, at the moment, stock size is 6 to 24. We are a very data-driven business. We can look at it like, you know, just real-time data available for us, which helps the merchandise team to really like, okay, what's in demand? For example, it's racing season, so bright, bold colors are definitely on trend. Clearly, fashion has a new model. Business model, that is. 